Hello. Oh, good. How are you? Good. Wow, it's loud in here, isn't it? No, it's all right. I just noticed it. So yes. So this past season we saw a lot. We saw a lot of right? Yes. It was, and I think um, I think this this season there's going to be a, a storyline that is um, that is uh, that begins when Elizabeth Rodriguez's character Chavez comes back, and her character sets up a departure in a whole new direction for the series that is at once new and very much in keeping with the spirit of the show. And I think that storyline may um, be cause for, for me to revisit some potentially traumatic memories only because I will be, I think, dealing with, I think there's some violent stuff could go down. And, uh, you know, my pacifist nature will be challenged, I think. Going into season five, what do you still enjoy about playing? Oh, I just love, I, I love all of them. There's nothing I don't like about it, really. I, I love the people I work with. I love the city we, we shoot in. I love living inside this guy's mind because I, I think he's got a funny, a fun mind to live in. And I like what the writers write, and it's all just a big adventure. So, you know, I'm just looking forward to getting back to work, you know, and digging my, digging my, uh, what am I going to say? I was going to say digging my heels in, but that's not right. <laughs> getting my, getting my hands dirty. Is that right? Rolling up my sleeves, getting back to work. I really am. I look forward to it. Go ahead. So how are we going to see Rose react Well, um, were you with the panel? I don't know. You were probably in here, were you? Yeah. They, we shot the funeral scene, and, uh, you know, I think what she had become was a real threat. So I think she sort of had died already to me. You know what I mean? Because the Hex and Beast part of a person is, and especially, especially the way she, she was a really, she was a terrible version of a Hex and Beast. I mean, she was worse than Adeline. And so, Juliet kind of had died already, and, and seeing her go for good was actually probably a relief more than anything. It's terrible. It's terrible. And you want to help him, but, you know... <laughs> He's in a real state, you know? I mean, he's lost everything, and he's out for revenge. And so, you know, you just try to... You have to manage it. You can't stop him from feeling what he's feeling. But you do your best as a friend, sort of, to just keep giving him a birth, give him a wide berth, because he's got to go through it, but you just don't want him to, like, completely blow his life to smithereens. Which someone in his position is likely to to do. I mean, he's in a bad way. Um, have, do you have any favorite creatures that have been on the show? A favorite? I was just talking to somebody else about that. I, I think my favorite is the uh, the Gelenchitis, which is basically like a leech. This is like a big slug with about a million teeth. I don't even think it has eyes or a nose. It's just like a ball of goo with a thousand teeth. I think that one's kind of fun. Yeah. How is it acting, you know, with all these supernatural kind of beings? 
Well, here's the thing. Are they really supernatural, or are they just expressions of the sides of people? You know, there are, we all know leeches out there. We all know people who are leeches. We all know people who are fire breathing, you know? That's the way I look at it. What's fun about it is envisioning what the thing is, you know, like the idea of, of like, oh my God, it's one of them? Holy shit. You know, or it's like, oh yeah, it's one of them. They're diamond. Dime. I know people. I like, see people like that on the subway every day. So the the fun of it is in making it really real. You know. Okay. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you.